Today I'm going to read you a book called Jillian Jigs to the Rescue and it's by Phoebe Gilman. The moon had just risen high over the hill. The stars were all out. It was quiet and still. Instead of the sound of snoring and sleeping, Jillian Jigs heard somebody weeping. I'm scared of the monster, said her little sister. Jillian held her and Jillian kissed her. It's okay, Rebecca. Get into my bed. I'll chase that bad monster right out of your head. And in the morning, you'll know what we'll do. We'll show that bad monster that he can't scare you. And this is what happened the very next day when Rachel and Peter came over to play. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Peter. Quick, get inside. The monster might catch you, Jillian cried. He's scaring Rebecca. He's mangy, he's mean. To stop him, we're making a monster machine. This monster machine will shrink him so small he'll be squished, he'll be squashed, he'll be nothing at all. We'll help, Peter said. Four is better than two. You never can tell what a monster might do. They worked the whole morning, and when they were done, Jillian warned them this won't be all fun. Remember the magic word, Kalamazoo. It makes you strong and monster-proof, too. That mangy new monster can't get us, you know. Are you ready, said Rebecca? Let's go. Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo, monster your meatloaf, monster you're through. Our monster machine will shrink you so small. You'll be squished, you'll be squashed, you'll be nothing at all. They had to be sneaky and lay underground, looking for clues that lay deep underground. They were, they followed the tracks. They were fearless and steady. They never gave up. They were rough, tough, and ready. Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo, monster your meatloaf, monster your through. Our monster machine will shrink you so small. You'll be squished, you'll be squashed, you'll be nothing at all. The monster was clever, he kept out of sight. He knew he'd be stronger much later at night. But in the forest, the road turned him dipped, and he wasn't careful, he stumbled and tripped. Shh, said Rebecca, do you hear that thumping? Look over there, the bushes are bumping. It's him, it's the monster, he's lurking in there, said Jillian Jiggs, better beware. Oh no, said Rebecca, remember he's mean. This looks like a job for the monster mis machine. They filled the big pot with some green grass and dirt and smushed it together for monster dessert. The pot was then left by the monster machine and all of them hid where they couldn't be seen. Get down, said Rebecca. The monster is awake. The monster came near. They felt the ground shake nearer and nearer until the box snapped. Aha, said Rebecca, monster, you're trapped. Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo, monster, your meatloaf, monster, you're through. Our monster machine will shrink you so small. You'll be squished, you'll be squashed, you'll be nothing at all. They switched the great switch on the monster machine. We'll squish, squash him down to the size of a bean. The clickers were clicking, the lights started blinking. Yes, said Rebecca, the monster is shrinking. Monster, oh monster, why are you mean? Why do you roar and shout in her dream? Monster, oh monster, why are you bad? I think, said Rebecca, I think that he's sad. He might have been lonely. He needs friends like you. He might have been angry, and that's why he grew. We'd better shrink him a little bit more. Then he won't scare you like he did before. Stop, said Rebecca. Enough is enough. But they didn't listen. They kept acting tough. They didn't listen. They kept right on going. The squishing and squashing showed no signs of slowing. Then the monster machine began bumping about. Look, said Rebecca. He wants to get out. Can't we be friends? Can't we play too? The monster agreed. The monster said, meow, it was a kitty. See you next time.